Hi, this is Donna Lewis with the Clark County Park District again, and we're going to talk about flies. No, there's one flying around my head. We're going to talk about what to do if you find a baby bird. This is the time of year. Baby birds are everywhere. So you might find them on your sidewalk. You might find them under a tree in a parking lot when you're out and about. What do you do if you find a baby bird? Now, one thing is, okay, bird, baby birds are not this big, okay? But this is a good example because their beak looks really huge compared to their body size. They have these big phalanges on the side. It helps mom see where she needs to go to put the food in. So it's, it's bright and it catches mom's attention. So when they're in the nest, you know, they're yelling for mom. There's like three or four, ah, 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 you know, and they're waiting for food. So she sees those mouths and she just plops the food in as she comes to the nest. What if you find one on the ground yelling? What are you gonna do? Don't bring it in, try to take care of it yourself. It's very important that mom take care of this baby. Okay, so you're going to look for the nest. And the first thing is, it's hard to tell what kind of bird you might have that you just found. So if you have bluebirds, they're going to be in a nest like what's behind me. They might be in a bluebird box or they'll be in a hole in the tree. Now they're not going to look like this. <laughs> Stuffed animals don't always look exactly like the animal. So bluebirds are not born blue. They're like a grayish color when they get their feathers and they're born with no feathers at all. So if you find a little baby bird on the ground, try to find the nest that it might go into. And if you can reach it, like say it's a box, you could just put it right in the box, you know, open the lid, put it inside if you can. If it's too high, uh, or maybe it's maybe you just need a ladder to put it in, but if it's too high to get to, or you don't have the right tools or whatever to get to it, make just get a basket, a hanging basket or a wicker basket, and put the little baby in like um, a um, pillowcase or a soft towel, maybe Kleenex, you know, make it into a little nest and put the baby up there. Look from a, keep an eye on a dis at it from a distance and um, see if mom comes back to the nest. That's a great thing to do. A lot of times mom will come back. It works, I've done it and mom comes back. They, get, they don't have a sense of smell. And even if they did, it wouldn't mean that they would not come back to get their, to feed their baby. So. You're looking for a little nest with other birds inside of it. You're probably gonna get it right if it's close by to where you find the nest. That's probably where it came from. And mom's gonna feed about any mouth that she sees as she comes to the nest. So you can also look for mama birds. There's semis passing behind me. Um, you can also look for mama birds flying to and from a tree or a box, and that might be where the baby came from. So mama bluebird is going to carry, and this would probably be a boy actually, Mama Bluebird is going to look for worms and bugs to feed her babies. So look for activity of where that, so you can find where that nest might be. Um, if the baby looks injured, has maybe a cut on it, it just doesn't look well, it's gasping for air a little bit, or just, as, you know, it's really hot out and it looks like the heat got to it, you can put it in a box with a soft cloth. Um, you can also even make a little nest with a butter dish and put some, um, Kleenex in there, put the baby in there, put it in a box, keep it warm, and then call Bruckner Nature Center. You can call the park. We can give you some advice if we think it should go back in the nest. But if it's injured, it should go to Bruckner Nature Center. If you're not close to Bruckner in Troy, Ohio, you can call the Ohio Wildlife Center. You can look on websites like the Ohio Wildlife Rehabilitators Association. Look at Wild Again. There's some great resources, but check your resources. Make sure. You're not looking at a site that just, um, it's just somebody that really cares about animals. They think they know what they're talking about. Um, make sure you go to a reputable site. You can always call the park district and if we think we can help you out, we will. And if we think somebody else needs to help you out, we will send you to that person. So that's one thing you can do for little babies that are on the ground, they can't move around yet. Their legs are kind of set way back here. So they can't, where's that leg at? Okay. So it's that way back, they can't walk around yet. They're too young to be mobile. Now, what if you find one hopping around? Like a lot of times we find ro robins that have left the nest. They can't quite fly yet, but they're just hopping around, peeping, and they're trying to find food. Mom is close by. She's usually close by watching. Sometimes you can't see her, but if you get too close to her baby, you can usually hear her. So robins are one of the birds we find a lot and especially when they're fledged and they're just hopping around the ground because they're ground feeders and they're looking for food. 
Don't think that it needs help. Mom is usually nearby. If you think it needs help, give someone a call. But usually, mom is around. The most important thing you can do is let mom raise the baby if she's there. And to keep your pets, your cats and your dogs, away from that baby. So baby bunnies, baby birds, things that you know are in the yard that they might get into. Keep your animals inside until that baby gets bigger. If it's a nighttime, nighttime animal, keep them in at night. If it's a daytime, you know, make sure your dogs are watched at night. Most animals are inside at night. Um, if it's during the day, try to keep your cat in more often so it doesn't get these guys. They're pretty easy prey when they're just hopping around the ground and they can't fly yet. So there's really simple things that we can do to help our wildlife outdoors. And these guys really help us out because they eat a lot of bugs out there. A lot of birds that we get here in the spring and summer and the birds that live here all year long. They eat things that help us out, that help the environment. So let's the, give them a hand. Yeah, he thinks so too. So, um, if you find a baby bird, make sure to try to get it back with mom. If you think it needs help, give someone a call for advice. Thank you so much for joining us today for what to do if you find a baby animal. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.